Blog Deck is back and is bringing more updates regarding the project. Let's go ahead and see what they're all about. So guys, here we are back once again with the Block Deck project, one of the better projects we have reviewed on this channel in a long time time today guys we are going to go ahead and be taking a look at all the updates we have regarding this project and the white paper that has just been released to see all the technical details regarding this project so make sure to stay until the end to see what the blog tech project has to offer us but before i hit you that guys just remember that i'm not a financial advisor and you should always remember to make the decision for yourself when deciding to invest into your project but yeah guys let's get straight into it so guys, the white paper has finally been released and as you can see it has over 20 pages so guys it is huge it goes into the tiniest details regarding the project so anything you might want to know about it it is right here in the white paper today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of sections within the white paper to learn what it's all about and what we can expect from this project in the near future so guys let's get straight into it. so the long anticipated technical details are finally here as you can see it covers everything from the introduction into the blockchain how it works what formulas it uses to calculate all of its operations as you're going to go ahead and see right here it also gives us the technical details such as the tokenomics we can see the utilities of the project the products it's offering and so on so as you can see it has a lot going for it so here we can go and take a look at the algorithms how they work guys how it's all done behind the scenes and all of those in analysis and technical details if you want to go and take a look at that mainly it is really important today for the team of this video we're going to go ahead and show you what the blog deck project is offering us the consumer and the user but if you want to get into it in even greater detail to see how it works behind the scenes you can do so right here in the white paper so we're going to go ahead and start from this point right here as you can see here we can see the limitations and trade-offs and so on the notable features and so on but we're going to go ahead and start here from the blog deck network ecosystem because that is what interests us the final user to see what we are being offered so guys let's get into it shall we so guys the network ecosystem right here the platform enables the user to unleash in-depth analysis of the blog deck network acting as a search engine diving into real-time data trade transactions that provide detailed data from the start to the current state so guys here is why users can access information about specific transactions public wallet addresses contract deployed cons, coins and nodes connected to the network as you can see low code no code turn your blockchain visions into reality even without a deep coding background so guys this is one of the better features that blog deck offers us because you do not have to have any coding knowledge you will be able to go ahead and turn your ideas into reality guys just by giving blog deck the information that it needs then it will be able to turn into the real project that you want to create so our low code no code platform simplifies the creation of utility tokens meme tokens and nfts select from pre-built templates customized to your needs and let our intuitive interface streamline deployment so guys empowers individuals and businesses to innovate on the blockchain accelerates development timelines expands the blog deck ecosystem with diverse new projects and so on are just some of the benefits of using the blog deck ecosystem so as you can see here we have the payment card guys if you do not know all the details regarding the project you can go ahead and check out our previous video to check out exactly what blog deck is basically guys it's going to have a lot of useful features and products such as one of them is the card that you will be able to use and here is the block deck payment card that we were talking about in the previous videos experience the future of finance with block deck crypto payment card seamlessly bridge the gap between crypto and everyday spending backed by rock solid security for peace of mind so your digital assets become your gateway to the world experience the future of finance very crypto wallet opens doors worldwide and guys security is one of the main features that may be even the most important feature that you need when using decentralized finance because what is it all about if you do not have security if anytime anybody can get into your wallet your your car and so on spend your money it doesn't mean anything so security is the number one pure priority for block day and it shows with all the security measures that they are putting into the project so what are the key, key benefits of the payment card guys it streamlines the use of cryptocurrencies for daily purchases provides a tangible use case for bday expanding its utility and drives mainstream adoption by bridging crypto and traditional finance so guys proof of engagement mobile application that is also coming guys we'll have the mobile application mine crypto as you engage with the block deck ecosystem so we, in the previous video we show you how the uh, application works you'll be able to use it anywhere you are guys just from your pocket on your mobile phone be able to mine and interact with the ecosystem the mobile app transforms your smartphone into a mining tool without impacting battery life or data usage so effortless sign up referral rewards and transparent progress tracking make building your crypto portfolio 
fun and accessible. So guys, here are the key benefits of the application offering an easy entry point into the world of cryptocurrency, encouraging active ecosystem participation through rewards and grows the block day community with a user friendly experience. So guys, basically there was the introduction into the ecosystem, all the features and utilities that they're providing and are going to be soon coming. So you can go ahead and check it out in greater detail on the white paper and their website and in our previous video. That was the introduction. So let's go ahead and get into the coin, the native coin that runs this whole ecosystem. So the block day coin or Deck serves as the foundational native coin and utility coin within the block deck ecosystem, playing a pivotal role in facilitating various operations and interactions within the network. So, as the lifeblood of the ecosystem, BDEG empowers users, validators, and decentralized application developers alike, fostering a vibrant and sustainable digital economy. So, transaction fees, guys, are one of the primary fun functions of the BDEG is to serve as the medium for transaction fees within the block network. So, guys, all the transaction fees that will be happening within the ecosystem will be happening with the native token. This is always good to not use any different tokens than the one that is running the ecosystem. This is going to go ahead and help and lower the cost within the ecosystem itself and user will, users will have an easier time interacting with it. So these fees contribute to the operational expenses of maintaining the network infrastructure, infrastructure and so on. So it basically goes directly back into the project. So P2P transaction guys, BDEC can also be used for peer-to-peer -peer transactions, enabling users to transfer funds directly between wallets on the DAG network. So guys, if you have multiple wallets on the network, it will have no problem transferring funds from one to another and you'll be able to use multiple wallets at once or with your friends and share assets and so on. So this provides a decentralized efficient way for individuals to exchange value within the need for intermediaries. So it's all going to bring another level of security within the project and the staking rewards guys staking as we already talked about one of the main features that the project have one of the best and useful features because it provides a lot of options for making passive income. So as you can see it also plays a crucial role in the staking mechanism of block deck and this is where BDAG is going to shine giving you so much option for making income it participates in the consensus mechanism and contributes to the security integrity of the network and the return for active participations validators validators receive staking rewards in the form of additional BDAC coins so it's amazingly done and thought out and the dap access guys the dap that we are all talking about furthermore guys the BDAC coin serves as the access keys to certain decentralized applications within the few block DAG ecosystems some dapps may require users to hold BDAC coins in their wallets access specific features or to interact with the functionalities offered by this application so by having the coins guys you'll be able to use every single application to its full extent and you'll have no limitation that's why it's important to have the coins within your wallet and basically guys ultimately bdag embodies the essence of utility and value within the block DAG ecosystem enabling similar transactions and making it all work simpler so amazingly done and there is the token that's going to be running in elf so guys one of the main points actually maybe the main point was the mining gear that we have seen in the previous video how it works guys how you'll be able to buy the mining gear how you can get start with mining the block deck token here is, is guys how you mine bdag in greater detail and technical analysis so mining bdag on the block deck network requires careful setup and configuration we need to follow the steps first we need the hardware setup guys so we're going to have to need our hardware for optimal, per optimal performance we recommend using ASIC miners ensure a stable power supply for your ASIC miners to prevent interruptions in operations and as ASIC miners do not have built-in Wi-Fi capabilities it is advisable to connect them directly to Ethernet cable so this ensures a stable and fast connection central for efficient mining operations then guys we can go ahead and establish the network connection once your hardware is set up, establish a robust network connection to maximize the performance and verify that each ASIC miner is properly re re recognized on the local network to enable seamless communication with other miners and the mining pool. And guys, we come to the last step, which is the mining pool configuration. We are going, we're, we are going to go ahead and set it up. So mining pools play a crucial role in distributing rewards among network participants, making it essential to connect your ASIC miners to mining pool. So log into control panel for each ASIC miner and input the necessary information to connect your mining pool. This includes protocols, addresses and so on and before commencing mining operations ensure that the miners control panels are configured correctly and ready for operation verify the connection and you can get started so guys basically like any other mining rig operation you need to go ahead and set it up make sure all the info is correct and you can get started with mining today and this is how you get started in the three simple steps that are explained right here 
do have a lot of tutorials and explanations on the internet for help if you need it. And you can also go ahead and contact BlogDag yourself to their contact address and ask for help if you want to get started. And now, guys, we come to the tokenomics. And tokenomics are amazingly done in this project, as we have seen. But we have not taken a look at that in the previous video. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. So it boasts a total supply of 150 billion coins, demonstrating its rarity and dedication to preserving values. So to maintain a controlled environment and prevent excessive inflation, BlockDeck Network implements a halving event every 12 months, similar to Bitcoin. So guys, Bitcoin halving event is happening on the 15th of April every couple of years so this is what they're planning to do similar here to make the coin more scarce and to increase the price this is why it's always a good sign to get into it on time while the price is still not too high as the halving events are going to go ahead and be helping the price to grow so here as you can see the max supply is as you can see akin to bitcoin adopts a capped total coin supply model ensuring a stable predictable ecosystem obviously guys so pre-sale allocation here we can take a look at all the locations and percentages you can see 33 percent is going to pre-sale community 66 percent community building is 15 percent you can see how it is all poured out as you can see community building liquidity pool team is going all into the community allocation that is going to be a part of the tokenomics so the tokenomics are amazingly done and the locations are really thought out by the team behind the project which is obviously very experienced in the crypto world and guys here we have some problem statements basically guys what the whole point of block DAG is that they are here to solve some of the main problems in the crypto world as we heard in the previous video they do not just want to sit around for any solution to any problem they might have they want to be the solution and this is where block DAG comes in what the whole point of the project is to bring solutions to common problems so scalability issues guys here are some of the main problems that traditional blocks blockchains tend to suffer such as scalability issues as you can see exemplified by bitcoin and trump rely on a linear chain of blocks for data storage so this is one of the main issues low transaction for output guys so they are going to have a lot of costs and fees because of their low transactions per second high transaction fees this is all coming for from their low transaction for output because they can't afford a lot of transactions per second and this is all a direct problem of this delays in confirmation times compromise privacy and security and increased energy consumption these are all some of the main things that are problems of today's blockchain traditional blockchains and this is where block deck comes in so block deck addresses these challenges by adopting a novel approach based on DAGs and efficient proof of engagement consensus mechanisms so we have enhanced scalability guys block deck breaks free from the constraints of linear blockchains by employing directly excelling graph technology in DAG, transactions can be added concurrently rather than sequentially allowing for parallel processing this design innovation removes the bottleneck of block creation times networks built on the block deck architecture see increased scalability as more users join as their transactions add to the processing power rather than causing slowdown and the combination of proof of engagement consensus and DAG transaction process processing unlocks a future where high throughput applications can thrive on the blockchain then guys we have the increased transaction throughput with its optimized proof of engagement consensus and scalability of the DAG structure block the networks achieve a significantly higher transaction throughput and this is very important guys this is one of the main problems in the traditional blocks blockchain space and the increased throughput translates to a better user experience applications based on block deck feel responsive and handle surges and activity without training and this is what is very needed in any blockchain that is coming out so almost instantaneous transactions block deck streamlines confirmations thanks to its efficient consensus mechanism instead of relying on large mining pools users participation directly drives transaction validation so this design reduces the waiting time for confirmation sometimes to mere seconds near instant confirmations are essential for time sensitive applications like point of sale payments and fast paced decentralized exchanges and this is why this kind of apps can't work on traditional blockchains because they just don't have the necessary transactions they need to work and this is where block day is going to shine and guys we also have the uncompromised privacy and security as we were already talking about security is the most important feature this kind of project can have block deck addresses privacy concerns through a careful design transactions don't have to be broadcast to the entire network back instead travel directly between involved parties this limits the potential attack surface the blend of proof of engagement for securing the network's integrity and transactional privacy benefits of the DAG maintain transparency without sacrificing user data this focus on privacy opens a new case use cases where sensitive information tends to be exchanged over the blockchain this eliminates the vast energy expenditure associated with mining making it environmentally conscious blockchain solution and if you guys remember in our previous video if you watched it block day is offering an eco-friendly option it's going to be safe for the community and it's not going to be intensive on the environment as some other mining rigs so this is what the block deck is also offering and efficiently positions block deck as a leader in the movement towards sustainable cryptocurrency technologies guys and today being safe for the environment is everywhere a project 
project needs to be safe and eco-friendly if it wants to succeed. There are too many regulations and rules that, they, that need to be followed for them to not be. So this is why it's very important for Block Deck to go ahead and go this path. And guys, here we have the roadmap. Our roadmap is always very important because it shows you that the team know what they're doing and they know the steps they need to take with the project to be successful. So you can see, this is obviously a very experienced team, guys. They, they have brought very good solutions to the problems that we need in the crypto world, as you have seen just right here. These pro other projects we have reviewed maybe had some of the solutions, but none of them had all of them into one project brought together. And this is what makes Block Tech special and unique. So let's go ahead and check out the roadmap they have planned. So as you can see, it del delineates a path forward market by ambition, precision, and unwavering commitment. So here we have April, guys, which is this month. The formula development, technical white paper, selection of DAG data structure, implementation of DAG algorithm, on-chain security, load testing, speed test report, and so on. Then we go into May, guys, after all of this is finished. Deployment of DAG, single cluster, multi-cluster, Gussie protocol integration, implementation of the P2P network, and state management and account management. Then we go into June, which is the consensus protocol implementation for reaching an agreement, implementation of the transaction manager, and we have August, guys, which is currently on the white paper the last month by deployment of chain alpha testnet launch testnet launch mobile application development and so on so guys as you can see they have very big plans for this project obviously have it colored in great detail and steps they need to take to make this project successful so obviously very experienced team big team behind the top project they know what they're doing and guys it seems they are going to be adding even more technical details within the white paper as the project evolves and the advancements follow so this is amazingly done by the team and here is the ecosystem that we're talking about guys paving the way for future innovations we have depth integration within the project so as you can see the vibrant ecosystem is tailored to provide a seamless platform for building decentralized applications whether users seek to develop logistic solutions financial devs or digital identity platforms guys it doesn't matter always going to be available within the block the ecosystem thanks to their tools and apis so efficient transactions guys they were just talking about they're going to be very efficient transactions so many per second and with low Cost, the utilization of direct axelic graph technology ensures simultaneously additional blocks to the chain, limiting block bottlenecks, enhancing scalability for efficient transactions processing. So with a remarkable speed of 5,000 to 8,000 transactions per second, BlockDAG sets the benchmark for industry-leading transaction speeds without compromising our security. As we were already talking about, one of the best features right here. We also have the earlier mainnet launch and the robust security for transactions. Guys, you can see it endeavors to revolutionize industries by harnessing the power of blockchain technology as a leading medium of exchange with rapid confirmation times. BlockDAG assumes a pivotal role in facilitating secure financial transactions within a decentralized capital market. Okay, so from logistics and supply chain management to insurance platforms, digital identity uh, services and lending and borrowing platforms, BlockDAG aims to encompass a diverse array of solutions under one unified roof, presenting limitless possibilities for secure and efficient financial transactions. So yeah guys, there you have it. We have come to the last page of the white paper where we can go ahead and take a look at their glossary and how it all works and their references as well. Basically, we have finished with the white paper so guys it goes into huge and great detail as you can see everything is explained right how we need to hear it so what you can do is go ahead and check out the white paper for yourself as well the whole white paper is right here more than 20 pages we took a quick look through it through a couple pages you can take a look at the rest for yourself to see how it all works but basically guys as you can see after releasing the white paper, which was very expected and needed, it seems that there, go there is going to be a lot more trust and insight in the project, which could potentially skyrocket this project with the community is going to build with the releases that they are planning. So what do you think? Do you think this project has an optimistic future in front of it? Because we do. So what you can do, guys, is go to blogdeck.network and check it out for yourself. All of the links will be down in the description to get into it for yourself. Go ahead and check out the white paper. Go ahead and check it out in the introductory video. Go ahead and check out everything that they have to offer and see how it works and why block deck is the ecosystem of the future so guys make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so you can always be notified when we upload a new video but guys thanks for watching today's one i hope i'll see you in the next one and bye